been doing so well and we thought, well, this year all I had to manage was election year non-expenditure. Uh, and then Corona comes by and just have empires on their knees. And then you can then see uh, the impact it has. But you know, beyond that, I, I think this is where you know the Lord has blessed us um, because um, these three years has brought sort of Ghana's ascendancy in the global sphere. Um, so um, you can see the president's um, messages resonate globally. Uh, it has also helped us as finance minister, therefore, um, to lead um, with the South African finance minister and the UN East State Director um, for Africa about um, a number of meetings that we have had with the finance ministers um, in Africa, um, trying to reposition uh, this whole global architecture that is this the most fit for purpose architecture for us. So we are pushing um, for debt relief, we are pushing for postponement, um, payments, etc. And that then would allow a lot more fiscal space for us to make sure that we just don't get wiped out, wiped out during the season. So yesterday's Financial Times, uh, I think there was an article um, in which you know I had proposed a number of measures on the international scale. Um, so fortunately, uh, I think we are beginning to build a consensus globally as to how to, 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 to manage these. Um, and we are just going to have to relook um, at all the fundamental assumptions of the budget. And I just signal to Parliament um, that come July, um, we should come with maybe a lot more uh, information and analysis um, so that, um, you know, because what then, what is the new normal? It's what we have to ask. What is the new normal? And how do we address the pain 